Can't you see? This is Big Brother. Anushka, say your goodbyes. You'll be leaving the house very shortly. Oh, oh, no. I'm going! <laughs> well, we knew that. <laughs> Can we get up there? number 10 coming to you live from dream world now please welcome your host gretel colleen Daniel? No. Will it be Patrick? Yeah. <laughs> what about Regina? No. Oh, look at you! You know all, or well, maybe you don't know, there is still time to vote. SMS lines have closed, but there is still time to vote, so get cracking those numbers. <laughs> to retrieve Regina, call 1902 555561. To catch out Chrissy, Call 1902 55 74. To slam Dan in the van, call 1902 55 62. Or to cut Pat from the pack, call 1902 55 63. Well, all our housemates are nominated tonight, so are they all feeling the same goosey, bumply eviction night jitters? Let's cross to the house and find out. Hello, house. Oh! <laughs> You've all got a couple of fans here tonight. All right, now, four of you up for eviction tonight. Yes. Now, what preparations have you made in case it's you? Dan, have you made any plans? Um, no. <laughs> Great. Okay, Reg, what about you? I've noticed you've been picking up on your fitness routine. Yeah, I want to beat, um, I was hoping if I'm still here, that I want to beat Saxon's 400 laps. 400 laps? Yeah. Cool. Now, Chrissy, what about you? Are you mentally prepared to be going tonight if it's you? Yes, and I've even washed my bed linen and haven't made my bed. I'm that confident I'm not sleeping in it tonight. Really? Yep. Well, there's a sign. And what about you, Patrick? What, um, what have you wrong. done? wrong, it's me. <laughs> You're absolutely sure it's you, yeah, aren't absolutely. you? Yeah, absolutely. But this is your fourth nomination in a row. I can't be wrong four times in a row. Maybe you can. <laughs> you never know. So you're just firm with your convictions, no preparations? Mm hmm No preparations. All right, just quietly convicted. All right, then. We will catch up with one of you, or two of you, actually, a little bit later. See you later. Bye. Okay. Imagine how they're feeling. 
Not one of our housemates thought they'd stay this long in the house. And to think with only eight more days, any one of them could emerge as the winner. This must be a complex and confusing time. So let's see how the complex and amusing Dan coped this week. This yeah, all of them. is Big Brother. Oh. The nominees this week are Patrick, Regina, Chrissy, and Daniel. <laughs> We're all <wild. laughs> The walls kind of shut out the real world, but they're also a bit of a protective shell as well, you know, it's sort of, there's a safety kind of feeling in here. It's all gonna come to an end soon. The other week everyone was up except me, and then I sort of felt like, oh, I almost wanted to pack and bring my stuff in here just to feel part of the group. I don't feel left out. You got left out this week. Nice. The people on this side of the screen are kind of real and, and great to interact with, and, and I'm really surprised and refreshed to know that everyone in here has really been themselves. <laughs> We can laugh about nothing at all, and that's just, I don't know, that's the ultimate for me. <laughs> I'm really close to weeing, so I better go now <laughs> before it starts snapping at stuff. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna break it. So, what do you think of Chrissy? And um, what do you think of? She was just playing the pesky reporter. If you were to say one thing, like, maybe an annoying thing of Chrissy's, what would that be? It annoys me slightly that I don't find her attractive because then she'd be a great person to be with and be attracted to as well. So you're a bit sizest? Well, everyone has a preference, don't they? You can sort of picture people there with their hand sort of hovering over the button. Oh, really? Oh. It's sort of nice to know that they didn't press my button first, I guess, you know, a few, a few times. It certainly doesn't feel like anyone here is going to win, does it? It doesn't feel like that's what it's about. Who's it going to be and am I going to drop out? It's, it's terribly exciting. <laughs> Daniel's really feeling, but there is another housemate whose emotions spill forth like champagne when you've just shaken the bottle. She is effervescent, effusive. She is Chrissy. Let's see how her week has been. I was really sure I was going on Sunday, so this feels like extra time. I can't believe I'm still here. What a trip. The nominations were virtually impossible this week. This is the worst ever. It is. There's got to be some hardship for living in paradise. <laughs> I like it when everybody's up because it seems really fair. And you just imagine a whole population of people with their finger poised going, ah, I'm going to get in. I've been waiting for weeks for this. I feel like I've been here longer than I've been in my real life. If I go on Sunday, that is fine by me. What a ride. I will miss not being able to see Dan whenever I want to. Now I'm living in correctional facilities. Because some don't agree with how I do this. <laughs> That's one of the coolest things about you is that you don't make an issue that you're, you know, heavy set or... Really what is attractive is what's inside. It's actually true. You're avoiding the, the questions. I'm, not, I'm answering it. I'm just not giving you the answer you want. It's not my style to talk like that. I can't wait to see people out of here because the whole setting is different. I've never known you That's except with this pumpkin and circle background. Before I walked in I was laughing and I don't think I've stopped. I've just, everything is just cracked me up. I don't feel like I'm losing anything because I've been here for so long and had such a great experience. Cheers. 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 Yes. <laughs> and ponders and Regina laughs like a hyena as they sing the nomination week blues. This is the first time I've been up for two weeks and the field's a lot less, so um, it's a bit scarier. It's just wearing thin today, it's like... This weekend it's finally going to be me. It can't be wrong four times in a row. It's going to be another exciting Sunday. <laughs>
Stop squeezing your nose. <laughs> Do you love it? Do you mock me? <laughs> Is Big Brother. <laughs> the storeroom is open and the hot water is off. It's so funny. It's like a cartoon character. It's like a muppet. Do you mock Big Brother? <laughs> it doesn't take much to get us all entertained. We'll put that back here in case we need it again later. I should explain the housemates made those eyes by ripping apart the Big Brother rule book that lives in the house. That's why, <laughs> that's why they were wondering if they'd need it later in case they got into trouble. But now it is time to take a look at the beanie wearing, kitchen controlling, guitar strumming Patrick as he plucks his way through his fourth consecutive nomination week. It's been a bit slow. <laughs> Been wandering around with not many things to do. Ah! I will go someday. <laughs> That's what I figured out. What happened to your calculations last week? Do you know what happened? It was what? a rounding error. He's cute. I like Patrick. No, he's not. He's tough. Why did you nail that all year? Why do you keep asking me so many questions? Because that's my job! The task was cool actually because it meant that we got to think about past housemates. She was really loud! Was she? Yeah! Is that loud? Yes! It started off a little bit um, annoyingly. Out of your ha remaining housemates, you like Chrissy the least. I don't get along with Chrissy as much as I get along with Daniel or Regina. Thank you very much. <laughs> you sneaky little girl. I think she was expecting us to um, say some nasty things, but I don't think many people said nasty things. Toast with Vegemite. Toast with Vegemite? Yeah. Okay. I put too much Vegemite on. Mm, a little bit. True. I'm great with that. Everything's under control. Thank you. Kitchen Nazi. You asked for my help. Girls always do that. Oh, you, go, you don't understand. Good night, Petra. Good night, Regine. I have felt very lucky that I got this far, and I don't quite understand why or how. Going a long way means that people appreciate who you are, I guess. Now, it is very stressful in the house at the moment. People cope with stress in different ways. Anushka is currently applying makeup. Reggie is in tears. Now, normally Reggie laughs. I know, she laughs when she's nominated, she laughs when she's not nominated, and she laughs when she laughs when she giggles. So let's take a look at Regina's nomination week. I'm still enjoying the Big Brother experience. <laughs> Exciting. It's good that I'm still here. Yeah. You're still here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Give everyone the shit. Vincent will be so happy that he's using his bed to fluff on. I'm farting. It smells like I've stood in something. <laughs> it's time to go, Regina. Um, uh, no. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I could keep staying here for a long, long time. I'm not leaving. I'll look after the house. I'll mow the lawns. I could live here for another six months. As long as they fly Campbell up for me, I'll be right. <laughs> and someone else? No, me and Campbell. Well, we, that, we that funny live. guy that you're kind of married to. Oh, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> that sort of scaring me a bit, like seeing Adrian again. That's just going to be interesting. I'll go back cooking Chico rolls and chips. No, you won't. If I come down to Cambridge and you're cooking Chico rolls, mm. I'm going to spin that little closed sign around on the door. <laughs> haul you out of there. Yeah. Everyone had to say something about everyone. Do you fancy Patrick? I don't know. It was good to see how she's trying to get probably more information out of us. Like him kissing you and him playing the guitar for you excites you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I did it right. If I'm still here next week, oh, it's just going to be a really exciting week. Well, 
Big Brother has just told me that he's got an announcement to make. So let's cross live to the house. I'm walking past every time Let I walk past, I'm looking at the door. Again. This is Big Brother. Anushka, you have 20 seconds to cross the bridge and leave the house via the eviction door. The eviction 18. Door. The eviction 17, door, quick! 16, Get your stuff! What a surprise! 15, <laughs> So seize the moment and call the eviction lines now. from the house. No. But what was the van travel like? How did it compare to being evicted from the Big Brother house in the UK? Australian experience is so much better. Oh. <laughs> that is, of course, the correct answer. <laughs> now, let's start. I know it's difficult. You have to compose yourself for a moment, mm -hmm. I would imagine. When you first went into the house, you said, oh, you were going to cause a bit of trouble and a bit of a stir, and you walked in, and the housemates were completely preoccupied with who'd put salt in the food. <laughs> and how did you feel about that? It, was, it made me laugh so much, because they were making out for it to be such a big thing, like the worst thing that could possibly ever happen. It's like, lighten up, for goodness sake. <laughs> well, let's have a look at, at the response when you first went into the house. Okay. Over here. <laughs> Here she is! Here she is! Hello! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. I've got to tell you. I'm staying for a 
few days. <laughs> so come on, guys, what are we going to do tonight? I want a bit of fun and frolics and laughter. I don't know how to break this to you, but there'll, there'll be none of that sort of stuff going on. I hope I'm going to like it here. I hope you do too. <laughs> I was so full of admiration for you because it was really hard and you were so excited and so up. And what was it like? Oh, they needed a good smack on the arse. <laughs> <laughs> and did you feel you'd be able to do... Like, there's quite a bit of an age difference between yourself and the housemates. Mm -hmm. Did you feel, oh, this is going to be hard work? I thought it was going to be hard work, but... I fancied the challenge. You fancied the challenge? Did you fancy anyone in the house? No. No? No, no, no. Because you've got a boyfriend, Andy. <laughs> Describe Andy for us, that he's so good. What's he like? Oh, he's gorgeous. He's what? so sweet and so funny and clever and he's just perfect. Hello, I'm talking about physically. <laughs> oh, he's big, um, brown hair, really bright blue, gorgeous eyes and... Oh, he's lovely. <laughs> No one compares, <laughs> but you've only been together a month mm -hmm. and you've been in the house a week and a half and what a week of excitement. Then you thought you were pregnant <laughs> and you forgot that there's a little bit of a time delay when you fly from the other side of the world. <laughs> now, what was your tactic? You went into the house, you could feel that they were all a bit calm. What did you think? How, how am I going to make this worthwhile? I really didn't know because everyone had told me little bits about their housemates and when I met them, I was thinking... Oh, this is going to be really difficult. And I just went along and did exactly the same as I did in the other house. Were there any times when you thought, I can't bear this, I've got to get out? No, no. Never? Apart from a hangover. Well, yes, that was pretty bad, because it lasted sort of a week, really, oh, didn't it? It was a pretty bad goodness, hangover. Yeah, it was horrible. Was that partying like an English girl or an Australian girl? An English girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then what happened? You knew that you were going to be in here, but you didn't know how long. Mm -hmm. And so you would told the whole world that you were going to stir things up. Yeah. You had a lot of pressure that you I put on yourself. I did, I know, because I, I um, on the day we went into the house, had some interviews, and um, the way they were questioning me made me sound like a bit nasty and they put on so much pressure that I was going to do this and that and that spice house up and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> so when you went in there, did you think, okay, maybe I can be naughty with Dan or with Reggie? Who did you think you could maybe side with? I thought I might have been able to get Chrissy on side and I tried really hard to turn her a bit naughty, but baby hands weren't having any of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, you added a huge amount to the house and you did stir things up. Let's have a quick look at the stirring you did in the house. Okay. <laughs> oh, down to me and worship every word I say. <laughs> Run my guitar on you. Yeah, the sun don't shine in the minute, it's not strong. So, no, I played extra loud. <laughs> it didn't work. It's crazy. Yeah. I'll just play off tune. And then I thought. Like... What should we do? Because we're not so bad. Oh, no, no, hang on. Oh, I'm so lazy. Don't be my accomplice. Don't do naughty things with me. Patrick's annoying. Regina is less annoying. No, they're not annoying. Anushka, you are terrible. If I were to ask you now, who would you nominate? Patrick would get the two strikes and Regina would get the one strike. So, from the sound of things, you prefer Patrick to Chrissy. <laughs> what do you feel when you look at that? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Are you, are you relieved? Do you look at that and think, gee, I have had a good time in the house? Yeah, yeah, I am, definitely. How did your time in the house here compare to your time in the house in England? There's a correct answer. Um, it was better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really think it was, though. So. Why was it better? Because for the one in England, obviously, I was going in there and it was a game. Although I wasn't thinking that I had to win, the eviction was, is a big thing, whereas here, I'm leaving, and I don't really care if the people in the house don't like me. Yeah. And so I went in there just to have a good time, personally, and if they didn't like me, then... <laughs> <laughs> well, someone in the audience clearly loves you. No, I absolutely love your outfit, and we have to remind everybody at home that there is only one more eviction show 
For you to win that fantastic 42-inch LG plasma screen worth over $10,000. It is just like the one on stage, so make sure you dress up and the best of luck will be with you to win Best Dressed Fan. Now, Big Brother has just told me that the lines are shut. Who do you think will be out tonight? I think it's going to be Chrissy. You think it's Chrissy? Oh. After the break, Anushka will still be with me to answer the famous 10 Big Brother questions. And of course, we will announce and evict housemate number 12. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm really frightened. I am. What about? About bugs. Your books? Bugs. Bugs? Whereabouts? In here. In your hair? In here. <laughs> In here. Oh, look, I'm catching something. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to see it again? See it again now? Look, no, Oh my god! <laughs> it's in attack mode. Can you see it? Yeah. Are you. Alright. I'm scared. Are you alright? Oh, no. Here, check this out. Watch it fly. <laughs> England. Yeah, and I'm just as scared of them in England. Oh, really? Panic and attacks, hyperventilation. Oh, God. And did people tell you how many creatures can kill you when you come to Australia? That's why I was so scared. That's why I was saying to Regina. Oh. I don't think... In my hair. I don't think grasshoppers can kill. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. Fun. Welcome back. You are, of course, watching Big Brother Live Eviction. I am chatting with Anushka. Now, you have not only made waves here, but also in England, oh. of course, the newspapers have been following your behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just fantastic. Good on you. Good on you. Now, are you ready, madam? Actually, yes. what we should do, I can see you've got your legacy item there. Mm -hmm. That is very sweet of you to have a legacy item. Now, who is your charity? Meningitis Trust. The Meningitis Trust. Great. So if you would like to bid for this mm -hmm. job, Let's hold it up. It's a bit stretched in certain areas. <laughs> <laughs> now you go to our website, of course. What is our website? Please remind me, Big Brother. Bigbrother.optus.com.au. I had to forget it one time during the year. I'm just too <laughs> excited. All right, now, we have a prezi for you. Where has that gone? Over there. What are you doing with it over there? Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Silly boys, what is the use of them? Thank you. Are you ready? I'm scared. Well, you should be scared, but I just want to tell it's you... It's not a book. No, it's not a book. <laughs> this is from Australia to you. We want to welcome you back another time. Oh. Welcome back to Australia. And we wanted you to get used to Australia. So there's your prezi. Oh! <laughs> it's a bug catcher. <laughs> now, have a look. Now... It's a plastic one. I want you to hold it. And little by little, you'll get used to it. And then when you come back, you'll be calm. Are you ready for the 10 Big Brother questions? Bring them on. Oh, I've lost my page. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Um, getting to know the people who already knew each other. What did you miss the most while you were in the Big Brother house? Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> You've only been going out with him four weeks. Yeah, but we knew each other really well in that time. Really well? Yeah. What's that mean? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who was your favourite person in the house? Regina! <laughs> Why? <laughs> because she's Reggie. Because she's Reggie? <laughs> I know, you don't need to explain. Who was your least favourite person? Oh, it changed. Um, difficult. No, no. Dan. Why? It, uh, because I couldn't talk to Dan unless Chrissy was there. Why? Because I found it difficult to talk to him on his own. To connect with him? Yes. Now, what about the arguments you had with Patrick about preparing the food? 
<laughs> it wasn't a noggin. I don't know, I can't remember. Well, let's just say you did, and that was because it was annoying. But never mind. Annoying. <laughs> annoying good. Did you pick up how to speak Australian while you were in the house? I tried a little bit, but... Well, give us an example. Um, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Annoying habit in the house. Um, Chrissy. And what was it? Leaving knives around when it was just so easy to put them away. And you know that if you leave cutlery around, it can attract bugs. I know. I love. It. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who was the funniest person in the house? Dan. Dan. All right. Who was the laziest? Probably me. <laughs> yes. We only really saw you cook one thing, but it wasn't really edible, was it? It was toad in the road. Yeah, but it was dead toad. It was like <laughs> road kill in the road. All right. <laughs> just the way I like it. Yeah. <laughs> now, just quickly, what was your greatest regret in the house? Greatest regret? No, I love the spa. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get back. All right. Who do you think is going to win? Reggie. Reggie. Let's have a look at a fabulous time in house. Thank you for joining us. Thank Let's you. have a look. Over here. That's really good. Getting a good deep heart. God, I'm loving me tonight. <laughs> you look really good together. You do. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, Anushka was a fabulous ferret up the trousers for our final housemates. Yes, she was a welcome distraction, but it is time now for a less welcome one. As you know, the lines have closed and now the votes have been tallied. Oh, young man with the envelope who couldn't give me the present on time, thank you very much. <laughs> At least you're good looking. Let's cross now to the house. Am I going to break the news to the house or is Big Brother? All right, we've been having a bit of a tiff whether Big Brother would do it or whether I would do it. We're crossing live to the house now. Oh. There they are, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, Gretel. Yeah, you can do it, Gretel. Just try and put a big deep voice on. <laughs> I was just talking about you. You shouldn't have been listening. You put your makeup on there, Chrissy. <laughs> Looking very pretty, Reg. You got your makeup on too? Yes. You all look beautiful. Patrick, have you got your makeup on? I do, yeah. Gosh, 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 gosh. And what about you, Dan the Man? What have you got? A bit of blusher? Yeah. You're just focusing. Nothing I say is going to get through to you tonight, is it? Yeah, lots of blusher, Gretel. <laughs> Something like that. Right. Great response. You ready? <laughs> The envelope is open. It's in my hand. It's time to go. Patrick. <laughs> yes, with Big Brother. You have 20 seconds to leave the house. 19, 18, 17, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 
Oh, man. <laughs> you were so sure it was you, weren't you? <gasps> Well, Patrick, our 12th of the Big D will be joining me here on stage right after the break. My goodness, we are down to the final three. You are watching Big Brother Live Eviction. reconnect with the whole world. I'm just going to read this. I can feel your heart from here. That is yours. Thank you. Thank and you. Optus have given that to you. <laughs> oh, so wow. you re can reconnect with everybody. $1,200 credit. I'll just hold Fantastic. this up. Fantastic. And it's on your mobile phone and $1,000 off your home phone or internet bill. That must be weird because... <laughs> this great gift but you haven't had to pay a bill for three months have you re can you remember what the real world is like is there a real world <laughs> <laughs> well Daniel was saying today that this has become the real world for everyone in the house is that how you feel I do feel that way yeah and but it's so fantastic to be out to be here and to see everyone here huge crowd <laughs> great thank you we just enjoy the moment <laughs> <laughs> now, you were saying as you walked out of the house, goodbye, evil spa. Evil spa, yeah. You had a theory about the spa. I think the spa has claimed Saxon, it's claimed Kimmery, it's claimed me now as well. So you reckon I'm Vincent? Yep. So you think anybody who went in that spa has been evicted? Yes. Because the three remaining ones haven't really sat in the no, spa. No, they haven't. They've been a bit quiet in the spa, so... So what is that about? I don't know. They know what's going on. <laughs> now, did you start to go slightly mad in such an intense environment? No, I was all right, actually. Um, I'd just look up at the, at the sky and um, I'd know that it was a normal world out there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> now, what made you go into the house? Um, what made me go into the house? It just sort of happened. It just sort of roller coasted along and suddenly I was in. And but you had to apply in the first place. It's not easy it, to get it was in. Actually, it was a bit of an accident. I sort of accidentally set the tape in and accidentally <laughs> applied. <laughs> an was accident. it anything to do with turning 30? It was something to do with that, yeah. I'm, I'm 30 now, of course. I, I know. turned 30 in the house. <laughs> To do it. It, was it was good, yeah. <laughs> so you were turning 30, not necessarily fulfilled with the life you had, or ready for the next chapter? Um, I'm definitely ready for the next chapter, and I'm so glad that I turned 30 in the house and in a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the interesting things for you, and we'll go on your journey, was that you were a very sensible element in the house. I still am, Gretel. <laughs> you still are. Let's have a look at Captain Sensible. Here we are. <laughs> It's not worth letting anybody. Stupidity, war, racism. There you go. It's not bothers me. Why has it taken us 14 days to get this game out? Because we always okay. wanted something to do tomorrow. It was. Yeah. yeah. I think people should be consistent. Yeah. It's like with friends, just because you have a disagreement about something doesn't mean you're not friends with them. It's kind of hard because like people keep coming and asking me for advice. Listen, tomorrow 
Big Brother is a person who will come in, they'll go, blah, 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 don't do that again, you're in big trouble, and you'll go, yeah. uh-huh. A bit worried that everyone took my advice. Good thing has come to those who wait. Yeah. Which isn't true at all, but it's a nice saying. I'm going to make some lunch, get the others up out of bed. They <laughs> can't sleep all day. They can't sleep all day. They'll get into this really bad sleeping pattern. There's no way you can control whether they rise or not by the piano. Oh. One thing we've got in here is time. Now, you also said that you wouldn't be in a relationship until you were 30. That's correct, yeah. And now you're 30, and while you were in the house, do you <laughs> think that you were showing the nation what an eligible bachelor you really are? Um, yes, definitely. <laughs> and, and how did you do that? You, you were understanding? Um, I was a good cook, I think. You were a good cook. <laughs> and I um, just enjoyed myself a lot as well. So were you advertising so that women would find no, no, you attractive? No, 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 not at all. I'm sure I'll find someone soon. Do you want to get married? Um, eventually, yeah, in a couple of years, you more want, less. But not today? <laughs> not today, no. Oh, well, I won't ask you then. <laughs> OK, now. Um, what I want to ask you is about the kitchen because you didn't express a lot of emotions and there were a whirlwinds of emotion around you. People sitting in sinks with no pants on, people crying. kissing, crying, <laughs> carrying on. You were steady as she goes until it came to the kitchen and that was your territory really, wasn't it? It's my kitchen. It's your <laughs> kitchen. Now why is it your kitchen? Uh, I just love to cook and um, coming from a big family you just enjoy being in the kitchen and cooking and hanging around there. So. I decided to make it my own, I decided. Well, let's have a look at you. We called you the Kitchen Kaiser. <laughs> let's have a bit of a look over here. You now I should join the army, unless you get decent food. Can I have a coffee? I've had two. No. <laughs> Just remember, a lot of people want coffee. Do you want to have chicken for dinner? How many do you get in one? Apparently one is enough one? for eight people. Yep. I'm just going to fight with Patrick over a chicken. It's yeah. probably not going to be a hell of a lot of curry. Why do the Randy's make the toad sausages? Mmm, yum. Or the other option is me I can make it and you can make apple crumble. We can have both. Do you want me to come in and give you a hand? No, it's all right. I know I understand. You just said it wasn't going to be enough. Well, well if that's the tribal consensus, why doesn't someone... You can't interfere with Patrick's sausages. No. We're allowed to have Milo if we can't let don't have coffee? Yep. As long as you don't have it with milk, you have it with hot water and a tiny bit of milk. You're a bit of a kitchen fascist. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Simmer until it's cooked. Yeah, I know how to do it. I've done it millions of times before. I cook the rice. Next, for 40 minutes, you take. No. No! No! <laughs> no, because I don't... I... I, I'm not going to argue. Well, Patrick, come on. Strain them? I will. Yeah, oh, yes, I will. I will. I'll go soggy. I'm, I'm going to. Thank you. Just for just a little bit not of advice. Not kitchen Nazi. No, I enjoy it. You I enjoy do. it, yeah. Were you aware that you were treading on toes with the kitchen? Uh, yes, I was aware, but you know, you can't really, you've got to be yourself. If you enjoy cooking in the kitchen, then you've got to do it. Now, were there parts of your personality that you suppressed because you were in the house? Um, no, not at all. It was just me. Completely it's, you. It's, it's, it's impossible to do it for more than about two weeks to suppress your personality. And that was me, and that's what you saw. So you weren't trying to slip under a radar? No. Were you out to win? Uh, no, I was out to get past the first week, basically, and I did that, so well, I'm very happy. <laughs> you succeeded in that. Now, of course, we have more chats with you. Yep. After the break, of course, we will be asking <laughs> two big questions of Patrick. Make sure you are back with us then. <laughs> Welcome to the Acoustic Guitar Cafe. <laughs> Your host, Pat and Saxon. Saxon and Patrick. Tonight, we play a selection of music to soothe your senses and make you sway slightly in the rain. Our Over first here. song is called Rainy Melody Day. <laughs> Flowers! <it! laughs> <laughs> Menko dancer, you know, she dances while his father plays. Uh, She's suddenly beautiful. And, and we, we all want something beautiful. beautiful. Man, I wish I was beautiful. You are. So come dance this dance in the morning. Song 
song that was. What a beautiful rendition. It is a nice song, Gretel. And it leads us very nicely into what was going on with Joe. Um, <coughs> Joe <laughs> is... <laughs> Um, I really like Jo, she's a beautiful girl, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing her in the real world. <laughs> Do you think you might be in love with her? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, no. How good is that? <laughs> you don't know. There's no way of knowing in a place like the Big Brother house whether things that you feel are real, so I'm going to wait to see what happens. My goodness! <laughs> What if it is real? What will you do? Um, we'll deal with it when it happens. If it happens. If it happens. <laughs> Are you a bit scared? No, no, I'm scared. I'm looking forward to seeing her and all the other housemates as well. And are you looking forward to seeing Joe's boyfriend? Um, well, yeah. I'm sure, I'm, I'm <laughs> He's a very nice guy. I've, I've heard so many amazingly wonderful things about her boyfriend. I'm looking forward to meeting him as well. May I just ask how, with the feelings that you clearly have for Joanne, how you manage to contain those emotions for such a long time in the house? Um, well, I'm not absolutely sure of the feelings I have for Jo, so I'm not... <laughs> but there were a couple of really kissable moments where we were watching going, Go, Patrick! You guys were watching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why don't you have a look now? Let's have a look at you and Joanne in the house, over here. <laughs> Not gay and no girlfriend. Okay, no girl. Nice. <laughs> we're talking about the sex appeal of Joe. She's attractive, but she's not like I wouldn't go for that sort of girl. Have you got a crush on Treacle Joe? We've got a crush on each other. You still think you're sleeping there and I'm going to be on the couch? No. No. I don't think that at all. It's like a sleepover. They like brush each other's hair and stuff. That's your love for me. Sorry. Okay. Not before. It's instant. Like if there's anyone in the house that I want to hear, is he? Don't go. Okay, weird. Uh, the little blonde chick. You're just gonna feel really empty. No waking up and seeing anyone there. No bundle hidden under the covers. Everyday things. Just by saying I love you. I wish I hadn't done it. Uh, no, not at all. Do you I, look I don't regret anything that I've done in the house at all. Do you look at any of that and think, I can't believe I restrained myself? I can't believe someone was watching. That's what I'm, <laughs> what I'm thinking. <laughs> but you were watching Joe with the other people in the house and you saw that Saxon was keen on her yeah. and Vincent. Um, it was tough competition out there. Did you feel like house. you were in a queue? Uh, no, no, no. That's fine. I'm just happy to sit back. If someone likes me, they'll like me. If they don't, then that's fine by me too. Were you playing mysterious? <laughs> Well, everyone was playing hard to want, I was playing hard to get. No, the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> you were playing hard to want. I was playing hard to want, yeah. So you were the strong, silent, intellectual type in the corner. I still am, Gretel. You might just be dumb, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Women it's fall possible. for this. You know, we credit men with being a lot more... I'll just sit there in silence and everyone likes it. And we assume you're thinking, but you might just be growing potatoes it's, in your head. It's completely blank. <laughs> All right. Now, so... Just final question regarding Joe. Yes. You said you're going to have a chat when you get outside? Uh, yep, definitely. I think I told her that in the house as well. And so while you've been in the house for the last few weeks, have you been going over and over in your mind, we'll chat about this, we'll chat about that, I'll wear this, we'll drink that? <laughs> you have! <laughs> no comment. No comment? <laughs> All right, we've got to move it along. Let's have a look at the voting graph. See how it all went? In this very important eviction tonight. Ooh. Patrick was at 50%, mm -hmm. someone at 22, someone at 20, and someone at 8%. Yeah. Now you are back.
fabulous in the house. And are you depressed by that? No, 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 it's fine. I'm happy with that. I survived for... 12, 11 weeks? 11 weeks, so that's, that's pretty amazing. That's I survived. A, it's a huge <laughs> achievement. Let's have a quick look at your time in the house. Over here. Two, three, five. Hello. Drink anything ever again? Not for a long time. Not ever. ever. You know, like rock and roll has been done to death, but I don't think there was enough disco. Tool, which did bring much pleasure, and I'm sorry I begged you constantly about only knowing two chords because it was three, wasn't it? I forgive you, Greta. Yeah. <laughs> it's now, now four. It's four chords. Four chords. Four. Well done. You provided a lot of entertainment, and this guitar is your legacy item. It is my legacy item, and I want everyone to bid as much money as they possibly can for it because it goes to the Starlight Foundation. Yeah! Great. <laughs> is it signed by everybody? Yep, signed by everyone in the house. Great. All right, the website, bigbrother.optus.com.au. And while you're there, vote for which gift you'd like us to give and buy Patrick. On tomorrow night's final <laughs> countdown show, you will be on there with me, so that'll be great. We have prizes to give you. Let's have a look. Yes, tonight we're giving Patrick a MasterCard with $2,000 spending money on it. MasterCard. No other card is more accepted. Plus, a fantastic week's island holiday for two, courtesy of Kentucky Resorts, Great Keppel Island and STA Travel. And from Sony Home Entertainment, the PS2, which you can play all the best games on, and it's also a DVD and CD player. So, and here is this that I want to give you. That's your MasterCard, which is in Fantastic. there with 2000 Thank you very much, But Griddle. you also won, of course, two business class tickets to England. I did, and I'm taking my mum if she's watching. Taking <laughs> mum. Yeah. Good on you. Now, I have the ten Big Brother questions. We've got to rattle through these. Are All you right, ready? Go. What was the hardest thing about being in the house? Uh, no news from outside. Ooh. What did you miss the most in the Big Brother house? Uh, my family. Oh, who was your favourite person in the house? Joe. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Why? Um, because she's a fantastic, beautiful girl. And because you think you might be in love with her. Who <laughs> was your least favourite person in the house? Uh, least favourite? Oh, tough one. Um, it's all with a sense of humour. You're not being mean. Uh, ben. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> OK. Who had the most annoying habit? Uh, me. What was it? Uh, picking my nose, but oh. no one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> you must have done that privately. Who was the funniest person in the house? Uh, Daniel. Who was the laziest? The laziest was Claire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your greatest regret in the house? Um, not staying to the last week. Oh, oh. you nearly did. You nearly <laughs> Almost did. Almost did it. Who do you think is going to win? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Reggie! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows who's going to win. You have made it so far. We are going to see you tomorrow night, Monday night. You must watch that. It's going to be a great show. A big thank you to Patrick. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so now, Big Brother is in top gear. There is no nominating this Monday because all three housemates are up for eviction next Sunday and the lines reopen at 10pm tonight, Eastern Standard Time. After almost three months, there are just three housemates remaining. Make sure you catch all attention with The Daily Show tomorrow night at 7 and then join me with Patrick at 7.30 for a very special show, Big Brother, The Final Countdown, where we'll be having a heart-to-heart -heart with each of the housemates. And even though nominations are over, 
Gallagher still has some tough questions to ask the housemates. I'm Gretel Galee, this is Patrick, great audience, this is Big Brother, where the eyes are on the prize. Good night. <laughs>